radar right now, picking up on a few showers. And we are going to look pretty good the rest of the evening as far as severe weather goes. I'm not really worried about that tonight. But if you are heading out anywhere, perhaps you're going out to dinner or anything like that, just make sure you have that rain jacket with you, an umbrella. It is going to be a little unsettled. We've got a frontal boundary across the area. That's why we're seeing some showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms out there. But again, not expecting severe weather. The only thing I would worry about, it's going to be a little windy at times, just in general, as the system is pulling through. And we could see some occasionally heavy downpours, but we shouldn't see any widespread flooding or anything like that. Generally, this is lighter scattered rain. You can see all the cloud cover again, overcast skies now. Those clouds built in pretty quickly. We started off with sun early this morning when it first came up, and then you could tell that we had more moisture to work with after a while. Now, temperatures were still comfortable. Most of us today have still been able to get into the 60s. Beckley a little bit cooler now with some rain cooled air, 54 degrees. And here's the thing. It's going to get even cooler behind this front. We're going to get a little bit of a cold snap at the end of the work week here. We've got several frontal boundaries that are sliding out of the area tonight. We're going to have some drier weather return into Thursday and Friday, but it's definitely not exactly going to feel like spring. Temperatures will be below normal. I think it'll actually be more kind of like fall feeling outside. So not terrible, but definitely cooler than we've been. None of those 70s and 80s really that we've been spoiled with the past few weeks. The chance of rain again stays up the next few hours. It's really going to drop off after midnight tonight. So most of tomorrow again looking dry, but it is going to be cool and windy and that's going to make it feel colder than it is tomorrow. Look at these gusts popping up here. 30 35 miles an hour across some of the high terrain coming straight out of the northwest too. So that's cooler and drier air moving in. Let's take a close look at future casting and a few more showers and storms tonight. Here we are at four o'clock in the morning, pretty much done with everything after midnight. Maybe a stray shower or two into early Thursday. Still could see one during the afternoon, but for the most part, we're much drier. Some sun comes back out. Look at these highs, though. Upper 40s and low 50s. That's what it's going to feel like tomorrow. So not exactly warm. You definitely will need that coat, and we'll have to turn the heat back on a little bit, too. Tonight's actually going to get a little cool once that northwesterly wind starts to kick in. Again, some showers are going to be around until at least midnight. And we'll drop into the 40s. Windy with some sun tomorrow. Highs again, upper 40s, low 50s. Could see a stray shower, maybe even a snowflake at some really high spots late tomorrow night into early Friday, but nothing significant. Just cool as we wrap up the work week. Could be a little unsettled by the weekend with a few more showers and maybe a few thunderstorms in there as well, but nothing too serious. Melinda, over to you. All right, Catherine. I did